At least Amelia has one faithful servant beside me. Are you willing to court her? You have a worthy rival in front of you. She gestured toward Jackson. The young Lord Jackson is indeed a worthy opponent, but I'm sure I'll prevail in the end. Logan looked at the backs of Amelia and Jackson. As I stepped into the gazebo, I tripped on a rock and yelped. I was about to fall when I felt someone holding me by the waist. Are you all right, princess? When I was pulled up, I saw that he had been the one who caught me. Thank you, Logan. I'm a bit clumsy. I looked down at my feet a bit embarrassed. It's okay, princess. It's my job to protect you. You have fast reflexes, Sir Logan. I was about to catch her, but you got there first. Thank you for the compliment. I've been trained to be a skilled knight since I was young. That's good to hear. I'm glad Amelia has a dependable knight by her side. The two men grinned at each other for an uncomfortably long time. The tea will get cold, princess. Let's go inside. I took my seat and Jackson sat beside me. Logan stood a few feet away from us. I felt a bit awkward. There was tension between Logan and Jackson, but I couldn't figure out why. Jackson poured tea into my cup. Here, have some of this, he said and handed me a cookie. My mother baked them especially for you. I hope you like them. Really? Please give my thanks to your mother. I'll tell her when I get home. I'm sure she'll be thrilled. I'm planning to take you to my house for a visit in the near future. Well, I would love to go visit your home, but... I felt sad just thinking about it. I'm not allowed to leave the palace walls without my stepmother's approval. Then I'll make sure to get the queen's approval. I'm not sure she'll give it. Why is that? Of course you have to go out once in a while. You're not a prisoner here. When was the last time the princess left the palace? Logan whispered to Lily. I think the last time was on her 16th birthday. The queen doesn't want her to leave. Logan looked at me with concern. She is indeed a beautiful bird, but she needs to soar. Jackson took my hand that was resting on the table. Someday soon, I'll personally ask for your hand in marriage. It's getting late, Princess Amelia. Lord Jackson? Logan was suddenly right beside us. Oh, it's okay. I don't mind getting home a little late. We can't let the young lord travel after dark. The roads are perilous with wild animals and thieves, and our princess needs to rest. She just recovered from her fever. The two men stared at each other with chilling smiles on their faces. I felt a cold wind blow. Logan is right, Jackson, I said to relieve the tension. It's getting late. If it's the princess's wish, then I'll take my leave. I'll come again when I have time. We don't want to steal your precious time, Lord Jackson. I'm sure you're busy with your work in the dukedom. Visiting Amelia is also important. She is going to be my future duchess after all. I couldn't stand the tension and sighed loudly. Lily, let's get back to the estate, I said and walked away. Yes, princess, Lily walked behind me all the way back. It was nearing midnight at General Anthony's estate near the outskirts of the city. The general was in his study looking at some papers. He sighed deeply as he read the papers in front of him. Why is the old general sighing? A man's voice said from just outside the room. Who's there? Calm yourself, general, it's me. It's you. What does your highness, Crown Prince Leon of Grandcrest want? To be here in this old man's estate in the middle of the night? I was thinking of having a chat with the general. Your security is rather lacking, General Anthony. I could waltz in here with ease. Not far from him, David was standing just out of the shadows. <laughs> it's not lacking. It's just that the Crown Prince and his royal guard are keen on sneaking past my guards. You are indeed worthy of the title. Getting this title wasn't easy. I'd stand atop a mountain of bodies, blood, and bones to achieve my goals. And it doesn't end there. Your temperament is so much like your father's when he was your age. Such strength. But your looks came from your mother. Your mother has taught you well in the magic arts. I only know a few tricks, General. You know magic is taboo these days. I can still remember her in the old days, young Beatrice. He said with some sadness in his voice. That's why I hate my face. There was a hint of anger in Leon's voice. It reminds me of how she died in my arms. She was a sweet and gentle girl. She wasn't made to be in a harem, but alas, she loved your father dearly. She should never have married father. She was nothing but a concubine in his harem. Your father loved your mother, Leon. He saw the rage in Leon's eyes. And because she was father's favorite, she was targeted by his legal wife, the queen. Your mother didn't have a choice. 
She was pregnant with you during the war. She didn't want you to be born a... I would have been happy to be born a... If it meant she would still be alive today. If it weren't for the war, they wouldn't have met each other. Yes, the war with Atlantia. The war 22 years ago was the biggest and most devastating war this continent had ever seen. I'm afraid there's a possibility it'll happen again. Hey, I'm Amelia. If you're wondering what happens next, download the Pocket FM app now and listen to the exciting episode of The Forgotten Princess.